Hello everyone, I'm Cola Flipper, uh, my name is Lee, I'm a 41 year old reseller uh, based in Hertfordshire and I've been reselling for about a year. Um, it's Saturday 20th of June today and I've just been out to my second car boot sale of the year. So um, I just thought I'd give you guys a quick haul. Um, I have gone a little bit mad as I have created my own tap trolley, very similar to Nick Hills as one. Um, which basically meant I've been able to carry a huge amount of um, gubbins home with me. So uh, I thought we'd give a, have a quick look at what I've brought home today. All right, I thought I'd start with the, the big one first. Um, as we know, in, in lockdown, people have been bored out of their minds. Um, so a lot of Wii games have been going for, for crazy money at the moment. Um, and I've recently sold some uh, Wii Fit boards for sort of £45. Um, and I saw a Wii uh, full-on rock band box set, so drums, uh, drumsticks, guitar, microphone, uh, pedal for the, uh, for the drums, the game, all the dongles, all fully boxed. Um, the person only wanted 20 quid for it. Um, I didn't argue, it was a huge box. In fact, I'll show you the box. Um, it's got the stand for the drum kit as well. Um, but without the trolley, I would never have been able to, to this about so great big box um, and uh, I didn't argue I had a quick look checked everything was there I think I'm pretty sure pretty sure everything is there um, I had a quick look at comps comps seem to go anywhere from sort of 80 pounds to 120 so I need to give it a quick well proper clean and, uh, and a quick test but um, hopefully this will be at least 20 into sort of 85 pound but I, I might try and push a little bit higher and go for the sort of hundred pound plus. So um, th this is probably the biggest buy of the day. Um, but yeah, it's great. I'm, I'm really, really chuffed with this bit. Right, next little bag of goodies. Okay, pick this up for a pound. And this is 35 millimeter camera. It's a Minolta. This is a Minolta Zoom 160C. Um, it was a pound and it's got uh, a film in there, uh, but there was no battery, so I couldn't test it um, at the car boot sale. But I've been recently selling similar cameras for between 25 and 30 pounds. Um, I have sold a few similar ones for 45, 50. So I, this is easy going to be a pound into 25, um, but it depends how long I want to, to hold on to it for. But um, that, that should be a, a fairly easy sale. It also came with a, a branded, a low pro um, little pouch and these probably go for six pounds so I might even split these up just to, to increase the profit because adding it to the package probably won't add that much value to it so um, that's a nice easy pound into 2530. Um, if you've ever seen these these are uh, power balls they're it's a gyroscopic um, kind of device so once you've got it spinning you rotate your wrist so it's good if you've got wrist injuries so I, I broke my wrist years ago um, and I think I paid 20, 25 pounds for one of these. So I picked that up for a pound. It does need to have a little cord with it. Um, but I've got some spares, so that's a pound and I should be able to get 15 or so plus um, postage for that. So that's, that's a nice little one. This I actually bought that I thought might be useful for me just from a learning perspective. And it was, um, it's the same as uh, the Miller's Antiques Guide, but this is a collectibles guide, and I thought for a pound, it's something that I can flick through and, and get some ideas on other bits and pieces, and hopefully that pound will be well invested into my, my education on, on what sells for, for what sort of money, so couldn't leave that in, in for a pound. Took a bit of a random punt on these, and that is, it was a, there was a, a house clearance um, store there, well, there are loads of them, and I've taken a punt. I don't know if it's real ivory or not, but these are some Chinese figurines. They're about eight inches tall. They're quite heavy, but I don't know if they're ivory or if they're some sort of resin. Um, I'm not sure how to tell. Um, and I didn't notice until I've got home, there's actually a little bit of damage. There's a little bit of a, a chip off of something there. It looks like this should have been a sword. Um, and there's a break there. So th this could be a complete waste of time. I paid um, eight pounds, but I got those. It's kind of cool little um, wooden inlaid box and a little hair hairpin hair clip thing, which has got a nice little metallic leaf on it. And a 
again, I think it's another piece of ivory. It's a little, little elephant. Let's see if I can get this. So a nice little elephant there, and I thought that was kind of cool. So I got all of those items for for eight pounds. Not sure of the value, but I took a punt. This is not the sort of thing I'd normally pick up, but um, I thought something new. I might be able to learn something, and at worst, I've spent eight quid on um, on educating myself. But I didn't want to leave it in case it it was valuable. Um, but yeah, not not sure if that's actually got any value or not. Um, and that works. I really like the box, so I might give that a little clean up and keep keep bits, odds and sods in it. So um, yeah, that was eight pounds. Right, next up, this is something I learned off of Mr. Nick Hills, and uh, there's a man selling wallpaper, and um, I've realised I'm running low on bubble wrap and and other wrapping type paper. So I've got three rolls of wallpaper for two pounds, um, which I'm going to basically use as void fill in boxes. Um, but also because it's kind of a wall background, what I might do is um, actually wallpaper that to a, to a piece of board, um, and I can use it as another background for my photography. So when I'm photographing clothes, um, I can have a, a, a decent background that as a, as a backdrop to um, whatever clothes I'm photographing. I thought that might be quite cool. So um, yeah, three rolls for, for two quid, quite happy with that. This is a Rowallan handbag. I paid two pounds for this. Rowallan, I think they're a Scottish brand, and they make high quality leather leather goods. Um, I know about them because I, I, I bought a little leather portfolio a couple of years back, and I paid about twenty five pound for that second hand. Um, comps seem to go for around the twenty five to thirty pound mark. This is in good condition. Uh, it looks as though it's never been used, basically. So that should be an easy two pound into twenty five, maybe thirty. So quite happy with that. Actually, I picked the next bit up for myself. Um, since the UK went into, into um, lockdown, I have had to work at home. I normally work in an office uh, Monday to Friday, um, but I'm now working out my dining room, so it's not ideal. Um, and I realised I just basically don't have enough light above my desk, so I picked up this little angle poise style lamp for four quid, so that would just make my life a little bit easier. So it needs to have a bit of a clean up, but that was quite nice, I thought. Right, now we've got some other random stuff. So, actually let's do some of the shoes first. So, pair of Hobbs boots. And I got those with Don't worry, this is not my um, tablecloth. This is my tap cloth because I do not want other people's dirty shoes on my um, dining table. So, uh, both pairs of boot, uh, boots and these little shoe boots, I've uh, got the, both pairs for £8 all in. These are Hobbs, uh, very good quality shoe, shoe um, manufacturer. They make nice shoes, they make nice dresses, ladies' outfits. So, nice. Nice shoe, and I don't know if I can get this to focus. If you can see the Hobbs logo there. Um, Hobbs stuff always sells well. Um, quality shoes, they've got leather sole, leather upper, leather lining. Um, and because even if they were scratched and marked, I can polish these up and make those look as new. So, um, absolute bargain on those. Should be able to get a 30 odd quid for those. These are Clarks. So, got some nice um, sort of mid calf length. Um, they're almost like rigger boots, um, proper full leather, and they've got a uh, crepe sole. Um, again, once these have been cleaned up, um, nourished and polished, uh, I should be able to turn that into about 30 plus pounds. So again, very happy with that. That's a nice little pick up there. I'll do these clothes now. Um, I, I do tend to sell a lot of ladies clothes, but I don't like digging through piles at car boot sales, so I, I tend to not join in with the scrum. Um, but I did have a look through the ones on the racks, and the first one that stood out to me, I, saw, I noticed the label, and it was um, Alice by Templey. So Alice Templey is a, a British designer. You can see the label there, Alice. 
my template. And as soon as I saw that, I knew it's a, a rack worth looking at. Now, the, there's different ranges within the Alice Templey um, setup. So you've got, uh, there's Alice Templey, there's Somerset and Alice by Templey. I think this is the lower of the ranges, but uh, you can just see the detail in this top. It, it's well made, it's expensive. Problem is, uh, so for example, uh, a proper Alice Templey dress might go for, for over a thousand pounds. Alice by Templey, this second hand, probably going to be lucky to get 25 quid, but I will, anywhere 20, 25, I'll be happy with that. I tend to try not to, because I'm, I'm a part-timer, um, I have a limited amount of time for, for selling. It's, it's basically doing this in my, my spare time. Um, so I can't, even though I see things that will make money, I can't pick everything up. Um, so I've, I've kind of got a rule in place that if it's not going to make around 20 pound minimum, I don't pick it up because I just don't have the storage or the time to deal with it. So on its own, would I have got this for, it's just, I think I've got three tops for the three items for 16 pounds in the end, then wanted uh, a bit more than that, I bargained them down. Um, would I have got it on its own? Probably not, but as I used it as some bargaining power to get all three at a slightly cheaper price, um, then it, it did make sense for me. Um, the other thing I was thinking about is if I saw this in a charity shop for £4.50, would I buy it? Yeah, probably would. So even though it's quite highly priced for a car boot sale, um, I thought it was worth a punt. So yes, yeah, so that's a, a Alice by Templey top. And I should be able to get 20-ish upwards for that, hopefully. That's a nice one. Uh, the other one I saw was this. This is Twin Set by Simona Barber Barbieri. And again, you could see the detail straight away that this was a, a well-made top, uh, a cardigan. Um, first thing I did was check, always check the buttons. If you've got missing buttons, it, it kind of just, it, it's just more hassle than it's worth. Uh, this is 100% wool, you could feel it's well-made. And I, again, checked all the lace detailing to make sure there are no issues with that. Now, I've had a look, um, Simona Barbieri uh, jumpers seem to range new 180, 200 pounds. So there weren't an awful lot of comps for this, but I would have thought with that as a new price, I should be able to push for the sort of 45, 50 pound mark. So um, any money that I've not really made on that, I will make on this, so happy with that. So that's a, a nice little buy. But when, when you're in a, car, in, in a field and you're trying to look for snags and holes and stains, it's not always easy. So I, I tend to not pick up so much clothing at, at car boots. Um, I usually save that for um, charity shops where I've got a little bit more time. Um, and then this, this, this could be a bit mega. This is Robert Rodriguez. Now the label's coming off, which again I use as a little bit of bargaining uh, power. Um, I can re-sew that in. Um, but this is a leather dress, full, really, really soft chamois leather. And again, you could just see initially, just by looking at it initially, it's an expensive looking label. And you can see it's, oh, I can't even show you the label there. It's, it was, you could feel it was a well-made expensive dress. I didn't realize how expensive they were because I thought Robert Rodriguez was a film director and I'd not heard of, um, the, the clothing by Robert Rodriguez. So a full leather dress, it, it's going to be expensive, whoever makes it, and this is all genuine leather. Uh, I didn't realize how expensive though. So I've had a look, um, brand new, this would have been about 700 pounds plus, um, but I don't think there's a huge market for a second hand. Um, I'm very much a, a price at high, and let it sit on the shelf for, for a while. I don't mind having spent £4.50 on that. If that sits on my shelf for a year, that's absolutely fine if I can get £100 plus for that. So um, I don't know what I'm going to aim for at that, but it's going to be high. So um, really, really chuffed. So that's um, new, seven, eight hundred pounds new, 180 200 new, probably 70 80 So all of that for £16. Really, really happy with that. Right, I'm just going to come a little bit closer for this one. Um, the first two things I picked up was this little ring, or big ring. I don't know if that's opal or not, but 
I just thought that was kind of cool and I thought it was worth taking a punt at a pound. Um, it's just quite nicely detailed, so I need to learn to, to figure out how, how to tell if something's real opal or not. But um, either way, I thought that was a nice piece of costume jewellery. Um, I don't normally sell uh, jewellery, I've never sold jewellery at all actually. Um, but Lex and um, Shelley seem to do very well out of it, so I thought I'd take a punt. And um, actually, speaking of Lex, this is a little Welsh. Um, charm bracelet uh, and again that this was a pound so you've got little little welsh dragon on there if i'm gonna focus got little welsh dragon i think i don't know if that's a hat or a crown or harp or little welsh um traditionally dressed person and a leek so um i don't know literally don't know anything about jewelry so uh, I thought I'd invest two pounds into my own education and uh, see what's what. So the first thing I need to do is, is um, figure out if that's a piece of plastic or if um, or if, it's, if it's an opal. So it's, I don't know, it's got a quite nice little shine to it. I have literally no idea. If you know, please let me know. Um, yeah, I thought it was quite nice. Okay, now on to my normal sort of bread and butter stuff, shoes. I sell a lot of shoes. Um, I have a, a preference for, for reselling shoes because they're often cheap to, to pick up. They often look dirty, but they're really easy to clean if you put a bit of elbow grease into it. Um, they're small um, for both postage and for storage. They're unbreakable, so when I send these out, it is literally wrap them up in a poly mailer or for example use the um, the wallpaper wrap that round once tape it up then put that into a poly mailer that's it um, so I, I love selling shoes it's, it's great not so much fun cleaning them but it, it there's a there can be a decent margin in it so uh, pick these it up these are some adidas trainers the heels are in good shape not an awful lot of wear these will easily clean up, so I paid four for those. I should be able to turn that into 25-ish. So happy with that. Uh, what else did I get? Now I picked up. The guy selling, uh, he had lots of shoes and some of them were in an absolutely disgusting state. But I did notice these, uh, these are Nike, sweets um, so full leather trainer in good condition soles have got a little bit of heel wear but otherwise they're in good shape always give them a bend test see if there's any cracking underneath see if there's any puckering around the edge where the, the soles coming away from the upper um, always check the heel counter if that's wearing through or if someone um, has when they put their shoes on they, they can break the heel counter so always check the back of the heel see what condition that is check that there's no cracks and splits. Um, laces doesn't matter. I, I buy laces in bulk from China. Um, so the black ones are not too much of a problem. Sometimes the white laces will be too dirty to actually use. Um, even cleaning them, you can't get the dirt out. So I just buy them in packs of 20 and 50 from China uh, through eBay. Um, so I got those. He asked five for those. And he had these Uggs. And I picked that up and I thought, oh, this is great. Five pound, five pound, that's fantastic. And then I saw the state of this one. So this one's clearly mouldy, um, but that's fixable. I've, I've cleaned up mouldy Uggs before. Um, I'll probably do a, a how to clean Uggs video at some point. Um, Ugg boots new, 150 pounds upwards, depending on the model. Uh, the, the taller the leg, the, the more expensive they're gonna be. Um, but I've sold ones similar to this uh, for Sort of around the forty to sixty pound mark, de depending on uh, depending on the quality, the uh, state they're in. But I should be able to make these look pretty much brand new. Um, so I will put together a, a video on how to clean Uggs at some point. Always check the the wear on the heel. There's a good amount of wear left on these. Also around the front, you've got between the the rubber sole or the foam sole and the um, cheap upper. Mm -hmm. You've got this band of cotton that goes around. That often gets worn through. If that's worn through, you can't repair that. 
So always check the around the toe to see how that is. And people often, because um, people wear them barefoot, you sometimes get a toe hole uh, because the toenail rubs on and you can get a thin patch. So always check your toes, see how they are. But these are these are pretty scabby, but I can clean those. So um, I offered him eight for the pair and he was all right with that. So I should be able to sell these for 25-ish upwards. These, once these are clean, 40 to 50. Um, again, this isn't the season to be selling them. I'll get them cleaned up, I'll get them boxed up, and then I'll just stick them up high and leave them, and people will just buy them through winter. So that's not an issue. And then I think this is the last thing. So another pair of Uggs. Um, again, if you're, so on these ones, the heels are in good condition, toes are in good condition, there's nowhere on the um, on the, the fabric strip that goes around it. Um, ways of checking if Uggs are real. Inside on the label, depends on when they're made. Older ones won't have it, more modern ones will. If you um, look at the back of the label, there'll be a hologram. Um, and as you move it about, you can see the Ugg logo and the hologram. So that, that helps you uh, tell if they're genuine. Older ones don't have that. The other way is that if it's um, fake, this 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 um, this sheep fur, it's just the other side of this skin, so you cannot pull them apart. So if you're if you hold this side of the the boot and you try and pull away the sheep on the inside, you can't. It's one single piece. Fake ones, the bonding often comes loose, so you can hold the outside and pull the inside, and you can feel two two layers moving independently. Uh, so that that's a really good way. Sheep skin is a little bit rough, so if it's if it's really soft as well, you'll find that that's unlikely to be real so if it's a little bit rough on the inside and you can't pull it apart and you've got the um the hologram those are sort of three indicators that they're genuine um so these were a pound the reason that these were a pound is the heels coming off so i've i've got some uh, flexible um fabric and shoe adhesive so specifically for for repairing shoes so once these are re-glued on and i've given these a clean up um these are these look pretty much brand new again. Um, so once they, once I'll, I'll do the proper video on how to, to clean them, but um, there are a few little techniques and a few tools that you need and you can get them looking absolutely brand new again. Um, so I think all in, I spent just over 70, 75 pounds um, when I did my count up earlier. Um, and I haven't worked out what the total is that I should be able to get for these, but um, hopefully I've, I've gone through it individually and that will give you a bit of an idea. Um, so yeah, hopefully that, that's a useful video to show you what I picked up in um, in my uh, second car boot sale of the year today. Um, I don't think I'll be going out tomorrow because it looks like the weather is gonna be terrible. So um, yeah, this, this will keep me out of trouble for quite a while. So I um, hope you found that useful. Um, please check out my other videos. I've got uh, the majority of my videos are, are on photography. So how to, to basically do better products and shoe photography. So please check those out. Um, if you found it useful, entertaining in the slightest, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe. So I um, hope to see you again soon. Take care.